day one of practice for the American Guild of Organist Certificate, either in service music or service playing or the colleague exam. I'm trying to decide which one to do. So the main difference is the stuff you're supposed to play. So that's my son in the background, always making music with his cars. Uh, for the service playing exam, it's mainly Bach, then easy romantic, then easy modern. And then for the colleague exam, a little bit harder Bach, a little bit harder romantic, a little bit harder modern. So we'll see. Um, and then that, outside of that, I'm going to have to make sure I can transpose. Obviously I can transpose, but uh, like well enough for this. So let's take a look at the music and we'll see. All right, for the uh, service playing exam, which is the lowest level, uh, group A, any chorale prelude from Orgel Buchlein, which could be anything from easy to really hard, any fugue with pedal from anything, but it could include the small ones here, which is what I'll do, and then any chorale prelude with pedal by Buchstehude. So uh, I like the G minor one here, so I'm going to work that one up and... Uh, should be able to sight read it since I've already worked it up. Here is another simple registration. Just see if I remember this. Not perfect, but it'll be easy enough to work up. So group B from the service playing requirements. Any single movement from Mendelssohn, Opus 37 or 65, except the hymn-like opening sections of sonatas 5 and 6, again awfully specific. Uh, any movement with indicated pedal from Vierne's Vampkot piece in style Libre. Any one of the 11 versets from Don La Gloria de Invalide uh, by Dupre. So I've chosen the uh, first movement here from the 24 style pieces in a, in a free style by Louis Vierne. Never played it before. Be right back. All right, you got my registration set up based on what he says. First thing uh, you gotta notice is we're in bass clef in the right hand. That took me a second. And second of all, I'm gonna write in my second pedal note to make sure my right foot is ready for that F, because that caught me off guard. So here's the beginning here. I have no idea what it's supposed to sound like. If I decide to do this level, I'll make sure to listen to at least three or four different versions, make sure stylistically I'm covered. So this will take some work, uh, but it's not, it's not too bad. M mostly it's just knowing what's coming next, as you could tell there when I slow down a lot. All right, I played through a little more of it, and to be honest, um, outside of using it for this exam, I don't think I would ever play it anywhere. Not a big fan of it. I've, I've not played any other Vierne, believe it or not. In fact, French, romantic French, early modern, other than Jean Alain, is not something I've 
worked up a whole lot of. So that's probably not uh, not surprising that I don't like it. So for Group C of the literature, any one of Schrader's six chorales um, had trouble finding that one for free. Um, obviously, if you go into this test, you do it with real copywritten, right? Not not copies. Uh, any movement from Langley's organ book? I think I have that, but I didn't even bother to look at it. Any piece from St. Augustine's organ book? Any one of Block's six preludes? Wayne Wool trio on People Look East? And Carson Kuhlman, Toccata only from the Toccata aria and finale. So um, I like that tune, People Look East. And uh, now that I noticed it here, uh, I got the wrong one. So I got instead, Light One Candle, instead of People Look East. So back to the drawing board. Glad I made this video to figure that out. Um, but that's the one I'll go with. That's an Augsburg Fortress one, and I think they got a digital download. From Light One Candle to Watch for Messiah. So that must have been where I got confused. It's People Look East, but it's from a collection called Light One Candle. And I ended up with, uh, with Light One Candle. All right, back to the drawing board. All right, so for the colleague exam, uh, the repertoire, the organ repertoire, uh, group A, O Mensch Bewein Dein Sunde Gross by Bach, and Movement 2 from Concerto in A Minor after Vivaldi by Bach. And it's interesting because O Mensch Bewein Dein, uh, that's from the Orgel Buch line. And for the service playing, they say anything from the Orgel Buch line. So this is from the Orgel Buch line. However, it is one of the more tricky uh, ones. Not as easy as like the Nun Kam der Heiden Heiden, the first one in the book. So I've already worked that one up. I'm going to do that one. Group B. Healy Willen, Prelude on St. Columba, or Siegfried Kargellert, Liebster Jesu, Wir sind hier. Uh, never played either of those guys, but I bought the, uh, actually no, it's um, it's a public domain, the Siegfried Kargellert. Uh, group C, Calvin Hampton, Prelude on Jesus Christ is Risen Today, Paul Hindemith, Movement 2 from Sonata 2. So I'm going with the Hindemith, because that one I've already learned as well. That's actually from the Gleason book. I don't have that handy, but that was the method book I learned from. So. Here we go. Uh, gonna get my registration here for the Bach first and then do a little bit of it. All right, I got my registration set up, real basic one. This uh, Alan, uh, Alan, right? Where is it? No, it's a Rogers. I always get him confused anyway, but the uh, the swell for some reason, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a buzz in the, in the speaker somewhere, unfortunately, so the solo will have that buzz going on. Not very good, but I got the more or less the notes, and when I'm not playing the right notes, at least I know that I didn't. So it's not like I got to learn it; I just got to get it worked up. All right, so the Car Geller is going to be a beast. Uh, I wish they would have done a Brahms, picked a Brahms for this, because there's plenty of Brahms I can play. But this one, um, luckily, it's slow, but a ton of chromaticism in it. Uh, you got the melody in the left hand and the foot, which isn't a problem, but this right hand synchronizing it with the melody, it's going to be a little tricky. So this one will probably have a lot of follow-up videos. Uh, last one is the, uh, the Hindemith, which I just got to get the registration up and see how much I remember from it. All right, I got a basic registration here for the, the Hindemith. A lot of it's on the swell with that bad speaker, which is going to sound bad, but can't do much about that.
A lot of mistakes. But this is day one of pulling it out. I haven't played it for probably 20 years. Maybe I played it once since then, but yeah, I've not worked on it. So um, working up this stuff is going to be the main thing, and then working on the hymn transpositions. you got to be able to go major second either way. Uh, you play the hymn as written, uh, and then I th you play two hymns, and I think at least one of them you have to be able to transpose whole step up or down, and, and I think they tell you what key they want it in, so you got to be prepared for, for four keys, basically. That's that. If you've done this, uh, especially if you've considered which one to do, because I'm trying to decide uh, service or, or colleague, and it seems like the colleague isn't a whole lot more work, so I'll probably go that route, but feel free to let me know. This has been a long video. I hope it's not been too boring. <laughs>